Hey guys, welcome back. Orbomb here, bringing another episode of our PTCGO live content with Guardians Rising. We are on day five, I think. And we did Lunala last time, so you know we gotta do Sogaleo this time. But before we get into that, be sure to drop a like if you have not already. Every time we get those likes, we uh, it kind of motivates me to do even more and more of these Guardians Rising contents. And this is one that was kind of requested. People asked me to do Pure Sogaleo, and I really wanted to play Pure Lunala and Pure Sogaleo because I think they're both very interesting. Very hard to get out, but interesting nonetheless. This is gonna be my build, and we're gonna. This is gonna be one of those things where like all my builds are kind of like first builds, haven't really been tried out that much, if any at all. Lunal has been tried out a little bit, and like, cause I play that one IRL with friends because I think it's funny. <clears throat> and hopefully we don't have as frustrating as a video video as we did yesterday. And I brought my phone next to me, and of course it blows up. Um. But yeah, this is going to be Sogaleo, pure Sogaleo. So if you guys don't know, we have this brand new Sogaleo card, um, which is going to be the main focus, the main attacker. It has 160 HP and it has two really interesting attacks. Shining Arrow does 50 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon, all right? Which is pretty nice. Two energies, does 50 damage on the bench, can really snipe things out, soften things up for other attackers. And then we have Fangs of the Sun. This Pokemon can't use Fangs of the Sun during your next turn, but for three energies, it does 170 damage. That's really, 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 really good. So, how do you charge it up? Simple. You charge it up with our old Solgaleo buddy. Uh, Soul Burst GX still does, gets five energies from your deck to the bench, to your field, which means you can attach a bunch of energies, three onto Solgaleo, and like two more on a different one. That would give you both three and three, which means you can attack with this one if need be. You still have Sunsteel Strike, it discards all your energy, but it's kind of like a last resort attacker. Your main focus should be attacking with one or two of these Sogaleos. It, this is going to be hard, because um, you, wanna, you want it to be consistent, but it's really hard to make a deck like this consistent, because, you, oh my god, because you only have, uh, it, it's, it's hard to set up Sogaleos early game. Uh, I could add like more level balls, actually I could add heavy balls to be honest. But I don't know what I would take out. So if I need to add heavy balls, I can add heavy balls to get all my Sogaleos in my hand. Uh, that could be pretty handy later in the game. But everything else is kind of like support to help get the stuff out. We are playing, of course, our one Shaman and our two Lunalas. We are playing a 4-2-2-2 two, two, two line of Sogaleo. And we're playing two Field Blowers because we definitely need to have... Um, we definitely need to have this Sogaleo ready to uh, use Ultra Road for. So we Ultra Road between our two Sogaleos, uh, switch them out, that way we can constantly use Fangs of the Sun. But even if we can't use Fangs of the Sun, we can still attack with Shining Arrow that next turn anyways. So we can snipe the probably the active or the bench if we need to. So it's not terrible, we just can't consistently hit for 170. So I mean, it's still a good attacker even when we get the one. Uh, we also have two Max Potions because, you know, we can heal up this Sogaleo if need be. I might completely drop the Max Potions, but they're nice for the time being. We got four Rare Candies because it's Rare Candy. One Rescue Stretcher because, unlike Lunala, it's more important to get Pokemon back in your hand. Because once your energies are gone, it's whatever. Like, you can, you have Super Rod still to put them back into your deck, but you really want to put that one Sogaleo back into your hand if need be. Four trainers mails for consistency this time. We're trying to get it as consistent as possible. Four ultra balls for VS seekers. We're gonna we're gonna have a tough time against Garb, but it's okay. I mean, we drop the max elixirs for the trainers mails, and uh, we do resist Garb if anything. So I guess there's that benefit. We do play two Ultra to the Sun. Uh, hopefully, if we run into Volcanion decks, we keep this on the bent. We keep this active uh, because it's hard for Volcanion to knock out a Sogaleo GX. But I feel like it's absolutely unnecessary and I can just take the auto loss. I'll take it out. But we're just trying out a bunch of different things in this deck to see how I like it. Because once again, um, it's all about testing things out. See what I like, see what I don't like. It's not like any of these decks are super competitively ready yet. We're just building a deck together and we're trying it out on the channel. That's just kind of the goal there. So don't, remember, don't forget to keep that. By the way, remember if you do get 40 likes on this video, I do give away 5 uh, to 5 people of Sun, Moon, and the Guardians Rising pack uh, on TCGO. Also, answer the common question of the day. Which is, uh, what type do you think needs more um, support on in the TCG? Like, what type do you think needs a little bit more support to make better because it just doesn't have that much going for it right now? Obviously, we have Fire. Fire is Volcanion and Scorched Earth. Fighting has Strong Energies and Scorched Earth. Uh, uh, water has Aqua Patch. Dark has 
a lot of really good dark attackers like Eveltal and Darkrai. Um, I don't know, Grasses, Lurantis, I don't, Metal doesn't really have that much going for it. There's not a lot of good Metal decks out there. So to me, it'd be like Metal, right? Because Metal needs more support in my opinion, but that's just me. <clears throat> what else do we got? Uh, we got four, we talk about Hex, of course, Hex. Um, we got Lysander and Olympia. Olympia is nice because we can switch out, heal slightly, and then use... Uh, whoops, use one of these Sogaleos to put another Pokemon active so we can reset Fangs of the Sun with Olympia as well. Fan Club is just really, really good for um, getting our our uh, Cosmogs out early game, which we need to do in this game. We 100% need to do get as many Cosmogs down as possible. Uh, we got Sycamore here, three Sycamores, one Skyla for our rare candies. We are buying two Choice Bands because we can hit for 200 damage. I'm not playing Delmize because... It's hard. There's, it's if anything. I would drop two suns for Delmize. That's the only thing I would do though, and I don't want to lead with Delmize either. I don't want to lead with anything in particular, really. I could just risk one Cosmog, but that that's my reasoning behind it. We also run 10, 10 metal energy. I feel like ten is more than enough. If I feel like mid, if if there's anything in particular, um, would I change something? I don't think I changed anything. Just in case, I'll save though. Um, <clears throat> if I feel like there's anything in particular we definitely need in this deck, like maybe we need a, maybe we really need a nest ball or a level ball or a heavy ball. Maybe we need something like that. Oh, hello, glitched Pokemon TCGO. That's cool. I'll take it. Um, all the Gudras. So let's just slip trip attack. Can I, can I like, can something happen? I'm clicking. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, if I feel like any of that is necessary, then I'll take out the stadium cards for that. We don't really need a stadium in this deck, to be honest, but it's just kind of nice to have. All right, let's go for Tails. And, oh, we failed. That's a shame. That's a shame. All right, let's see if we can get some good matchups. I mean, Steel is good, right? Because Nine Tails is, like, bragging... Oh, my God. It's bragging to itself that it's... Oh, I'm playing the wrong deck. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, guys. I saw Pure, and I thought I was playing the right deck, and everything is slow. Choose your active Pokemon so I can play my... Oh, hello. I almost, okay, almost destroyed my recording. Thank you, I'll take it. I don't know why everything's moving so slow. My internet should be good, but for I, I don't, I think I have to reset the router or something because it's been acting up lately. We're playing water. Uh, that could be Greninja. That could be Lapras. I don't think it's Ninetales because Ninetales would probably play the Leles and the Shamans. <clears throat> but Quad Lapras could be annoying because energy disruption is very, very bad. We get Okos though on everything. Oh, we're playing Golduck. That's odd. Well, at least we know he's not playing any tech options. I've been seeing a lot more Golduck lately. I don't know what happened. Did Golduck become, like, really good all of a sudden? I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we can, uh, get everything that we need right away. I'm gonna try to drop as many cards as possible, though. I'm probably gonna drop this game just to get out of my deck and, um, play my, my normal stuff. He can't, he can't attack me turn one unless he also plays Wally. So I'm gonna take advantage. I'll play N here. Maybe I'll get a Lele. Um, not Lele, another Cosmog down, that'd be ideal. Looks like we kind of did. Not exactly what I wanted, but I'll take it. I'm going to get rid of this and this, because so I can play Sycamore down. We'll get down another Cosmog, because uh, we have Sycamore already in our hand. As long as we have two Cosmogs, we should be okay. Four Cosmogs would be ideal, but we have one Cosmog prize, which kind of sucks. But I think we can deal. <clears throat> we can't attack this turn, but I don't think he can attack us next turn. And, uh... You know, all that good jazz. If he gets any float stones or choice bands or anything like that, I can just play my field blower right away. He can also confuse us, and looks like that's all he's going to do. So if I can get, like, a decent setup this upcoming turn, that'd be nice. Uh, Ultra Ball is kind of handy, I'm not going to lie. We can get another Cosmog down. I'm losing an energy, but we don't really need more than one. Let's get down our third Cosmog. No need for Lele. We don't really have a lot of tech options in this deck. We don't have a lot of different Pokemon. We just have pure Cosmog and pure Lele. Lele can also attack, which is something that's really cool. No sign of a rare candy yet, but we can use we can use this to get a rare candy next turn. I'll have another one at ready right there. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Dust Gather because it doesn't matter if we damage ourselves. We get the attack off though, so rare candy. Oh, we got Skyla. Okay, that's handy. Uh, it'd be nice if I get a rare candy instead, that way I'm not forced to play my supporter this turn. He's gonna evolve, which is whatever. He can knock us out, which once again is whatever. I need to get two Solgaleos active, and I need him to not knock out my Cosmog. 
That's another thing. He's gonna knock me out, but like, I need him to not do that. I need another Cosmog now, which there's no way for me to do unless I top deck like a rare candy, then I can get Skylight to get Rescue Stretcher, get down another Cosmog, and then um, go from there. He didn't even knock us out, never mind. Actually, that's super duper nice. And we got rare, hold, hold on, hello? Is everything okay, game? You're giving me a lot lately. This is not like yesterday's video at all. <laughs> not even close to like yesterday's video. Why? Why is everything working for me? New fuel blower. I think I'm gonna sycamore this turn. Like I don't really have a reason not to. I don't. If I had another rare candy in my hand or an ultra ball, I would play Skyla. But like I don't have a reason to not sycamore, and we can rescue stretcher for Lele later if we need to. I'm just gonna sycamore. We can see if I can get another Solgaleo down this turn. That'd be really nice. If I get a rare candy off this. Or a Seeker? Oh, not a Seeker, but a Rare Candy would be nice. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, okay, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take this perfect setup. 100% of the time, I'll take this perfect setup. And I'll even I'll even attach to the bench one. Look, look at this. This, this, is, this is nice. This is, this, is a very, this is very good. This is very good. I'll Soul Burst here. We get one, two, three. There's only four energies, unfortunately. So one, two, three... And we'll do four. So we have a manual attachment anyways. I mean, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I'll, I'll gladly take it. <laughs> it's cool. I want another one of those Sogaleos down there. So that if you, if you can give me that game, that'd be nice. I mean, I'm, I know I'm asking for a lot, but like, you know, that'd be cool. <laughs> that'd be really cool. I'm not, I'm not, gonna, I'm not even gonna lie, that'd be really nice. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, we, we you guys saw the setup. Now we have consistent attackers. It took us two turns, I believe, three turns. I mean, we had to put down Cosmogs the first turn. I don't know. How many turns did it take us? I actually don't know. Can I check? Let's see. So we went... I don't, I don't know, man. Whatever. 60 damage, not a lot of damage. Um, I could end. Or I could Lele to get a Sycamore. Because I still have Super Rod and Rescue Stretcher in the deck. So if I need to fill up my deck, I can. I really like the idea of getting another Sogaleo down. And we still have Super Rod to put energies back as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get this Sycamore play. Because he seems to be stuck anyways. Uh, I might as well take advantage. Oh, we don't have Sycamore. Never mind. Um, doesn't really matter what we grab there. I'm gonna go ahead and play end now. <laughs> I'll do the end. You know, he he pulled. You know, he forced my hand. <laughs> All right. So what I would uh, I need an Ultra Ball and I need a Rare Candy off these Trainer Mails. There's an Ultra Ball. Now can I get a Rare Candy? Oh my god, this game, this game is, I love Pokemon, guys, <laughs> I never, I will, you'll probably never hear me say that again, but I really like Pokemon, Pokemon's a good game, guys, it's a fun game, man, what a game, what a game, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon's an indisputably amazing game, let me go ahead and do that Ultra Road now and start doing my attacks, oh, po Pokemon's great, Guys, play Pokemon. It's a fun game. Oh, um, look at that. Look at that. The perfect setup. How? <laughs> How did that even happen? I'm not going to complain. So we have two attackers once we get another energy. And we have a backup explosion attacker. So, I mean, uh, I'll take it. How do you beat this? <laughs> oh, man. Look at me smiling. See, that's all I needed was a bunch of bad luck in the past two videos. To have that one really, really nice setup. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'll take it. See, you want to know why? It's because I have my I have my, my Beldums and Matangs right here on my desk. Because I was trying to look if I could find a bunch of my Reverse Hollows so I can build Metagross IRL. And I have two Reverse Hollow Beldums, one Reverse Hollow Matang, and one regular Art Beldum, which I'm not which I'm not happy about. Uh, doesn't this thing have only like 50 HP? Oh, that one does. Hold on, let me snipe you real quick. Come here. Come here, big boy. Get arrowed in the face. Mmm. Give me that knockout. Mmm, tasty. 
<laughs> How many energies do I have left? There's a shaman. Oh, oh, I know the glitch. The glitch is happening. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, no, the glitch is here. The glitch is here. Um, let me, yeah, let's see if I can take it away by doing this. Nope, I have to wait. For shame, the glitch is here. Uh, what do I do? Oh, no, he's just going to give me more juice. I mean, I'll take as much juice as possible. Uh, let me actually Lysander this out. This oh, this this thing out right there, because that's becoming more of a nuisance more than anything. Come here, big boy. Get fanged. Get fanged. Eat my son. <laughs> there we go. Give me that. Then I can I can I can snipe you if I want to. Oh, there's our the metal energy. Now we have all of our attackers ready. Ooh, it's just it's beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. <laughs> oh man, I'm not gonna be able to do this again. I don't think I'll be able to pull this off again. <laughs> Maybe I should make space for uh, for uh, trainer males in Lunala. I really was against it, but I'm so like because I'm so afraid of Garb right now. Like Garb is terrifying. Every time you face Garb, you lose. <laughs> um, sure, I'm playing the steel right now. Anyways, might as well. All right, let's see if we can repeat that process. This video might be shorter because I've been trying to like, you know what I mean? Like if you're uploading every day, you don't want to upload super long videos every day because you want people to actually watch your videos. And if they can't keep up because they're so long, then um, you're doing yourself a disservice. Looks like we're playing Papu Coco. That's kind of cool. Uh, Coco, I mean, Coco can't be uh, KO'd unless we, like, get rid of their stadium and their belts, which we can do. Oh, we're leading Shaman, and our only Shaman. Rip me. <clears throat> what do I do here? I think I do the, uh, the thing I've been talking about, the fan club play. Especially since we're going first, we get two, two of those babies out. Oh, Tauros. Uh, interesting. Let me, <clears throat> let me first things first do this. Let me see what I get. Oh, I'll take, oh, I won't take Rick any because I'm going to Sycamore. I'll take Lysander because I can afford to get rid of that. So I'm probably going to Sycamore next turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of these two. I'm going to get Lele into fan club. Please don't be prized. Okay, we have one Lele prize. Please don't be f prized fan club. Thank you. I know that's been happening a lot to me lately. Like a Le like either Lele or fan club is prized. But luckily we play two Leles. I really like two Leles. I'll grab fan club here. Turn one fan club is just super duper strong. Uh, looks like he's playing Tapu Koko or something. I, w I think it's Tapu Koko. Um, probably with Ninja Boy because he plays the Tauros as well. I'm going to fan club here. We're going to get two Cosmogs out. And we're going to Sycamore next turn. So we're going to attach one energy. Attach another energy to the other Cosmog. And, uh, or I might attach to the Shaman. Or maybe not. I don't really think I need to. But there we go. Turn one setup is pretty nice. Lately into fan club gives you a really, really nice setup. <clears throat> Let's see if we can capitalize on this. Let's see what he's playing. I'm not too sure yet. He's going to play male here. I need one more of these hyper rare Tauruses IRL. I only have one. If anybody has one and wants to trade for it, let me know. Uh, let's see. What's he going to do? I can Sycamore next turn. Of course, if I top deck a Rare Candy or a Sogaleo, it's going to be super duper annoying. And I'm really hoping it's not going to be the case. He's going to grab Sycamore. You're probably going to Sycamore his hand away. He probably wants a good turn one setup. I don't think he wants to drop a Coco yet because there's no energies on the field. His Ultra Ball, so that's really good for him. He can probably get like a Lele or a Shaman or something. I still don't know what he's playing though. If he's playing Electric, I'm just assuming it's Coco, but I'm not too sure. And N and a Lysander, he's really not letting me know what he's playing. Then again, I didn't really let him know either, except for the fact that it's Metal and Cosmog, so now he knows. <laughs> Let's see. Come on, buddy. Show me the magic. Show me the goods. Raikou, alright, he's definitely playing Coco. Unless he's playing, like, Electrode Raikou with, like, a Coco. Raikou's gonna be annoying because it's non-GX or EX, so I can't exactly get any big Okos. The, him... Having a Shining Body plus Resistance. That means he's taking 40 less damage. It's still an Oko with my other Sogaleo. Because I'm hitting for 170, which means after 40, it's still one. Th it's like, what, 130? And that's only 120. He's playing Raikou Electro. All right. Let's see. Oh, we top deck the Sogaleo. That's what I was worried about. Oh, well. We have Rescue Stretcher. If we need it back, we can hopefully get it back. Nice. I'll take it. Oh, speaking of rescue stretcher, oh my god, this game is this game is wild. 
This game is absolutely horrendously wild. What is going on? What it, uh, I have to title this the perfect video. <laughs> Gimme <me> Sogaleo. <laughs> Why is this the perfect video? <laughs> What's going on? Can somebody explain to me, what did I do? Like, have I just, I, I don't understand. Oh my God. <laughs> Give me this. Just, just, just let me ultra road myself to the active. I, I, I don't know what I did. What did I do in a past life? To deserve this moment right now. Let me just one, two, three, four, five. I mean, I'm honored. <laughs> I have no more energies in the deck, something which is good. That means I don't have to worry about drawing energies, but I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, five, seven, nine. There's one energy prize. Good to know. I can't set up another Sogaleo though. But we have Olympia if we need it if we need it. And we still knock out these things. And we don't have choice band yet though. He's gonna end us, which is whatever. The only thing that sucks about him ending us is I don't have my energy to attach. But I have this Lele that can attack now. Um, we have choice band, we have another Nebs, more Nebs. Uh, we have Hex, which could be really, really handy. He has Zapdos. Oh, it's not the most competitive deck, that sucks. I'm pretty sure this deck is 40 damage when you bench Pokemon. I'm pretty sure people are playing this now for that ability. Because 40 plus the 130 you do with Tapu Koko is really, really nice. Uh, I'll take this. I'll play this down because why not? No, I'll preserve it just in case. In case that, in the, well, in case this gets too confident, you know what I mean? I think I'm gonna hex. Let me go ahead and ultra road this. I'm gonna hex here. Yeah. And I'm gonna go ahead and Fangs of the Sun. Yeah, we'll do that. So we'll get a knockout here. Hex didn't really matter, but Hex means you can't play Electrode next turn. Um, or like drop any shamans or anything like that. We got a Mail. Mail could be nice if I get rare candy, but I don't know if I want another one of these down. Maybe I do, who knows. It's kind of hard to attach energies though, because we only have 10. And we attached five just now. So <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. I mean, if he's playing Electrode, he's gonna give us prizes anyway. So if we just keep going this way, we'll eventually get there. Ranger probably would have been a nice play in this deck. I have I have Lele as a basic attacker, which is why I don't play Rangers in as many decks anymore because I have Lele. Um, <clears throat> but if I get a Seeker here, I can Olympia. Um, but I can also just knock out something. Like I can damage a Zapdos or something. I could probably damage Voltorb, get a knockout there eventually. He's gonna Seeker here, probably play another N. Yeah, that's fine. I would like to have Choice Band, but I mean, whatever. I don't want to attach it because he can just Field Blower it, which I'm worried about. What does he have down here? Nothing crazy updated. This might just be an old list. But he's playing Raging. He's playing this, which you don't use. You don't see as often. Okay, that belt's annoying, but guess what we have? <laughs> we can also just soften it up so we don't have to get rid of it. Ace Train is really good for him. <clears throat> but we got Cosmoc too, which is really handy. I think I'm just gonna, I think I'm just going to Sycamore here. Um, let me go and evolve this. Let me see what I get off this mail first. Uh, maybe I should have done it because in case I got rare candy or something. Seeker, uh, we don't really want Seeker right now. Uh, we don't need Seeker right now. Yeah, we don't need Seeker right now. I'll drop the stadium. I'll get rid of his belt. Um, right there. And I will Sycamore. Let's see what this gets us. There's our choice band. Mm, three Seekers, not the greatest. Do I play Escape Rope in this deck? I'm pretty sure I do. Didn't get it there though. I'll grab Lysander. He's gonna Ace Trainer me next turn, so I'm gonna attach this now. Do I still have Super Rod? I should still have Super Rod, right? Yeah, that way if he gets a knockout, I can set up this Sogaleo. Huh. Hmm. I'm gonna Shining Arrow the active Raikou. And the only reasoning is because I want, in case he plays down his stadium, that means I take a lot less damage. Then again, how did he take so little? Oh, he resists. That's right. Yeah, never mind. That's fine. I'll take it. He's gonna, I don't know why he's doing this. Unless he's getting Electrode, yeah, he can attack me, I guess, if he gets Electrode. Uh, that's fine, three Seekers back in the deck is not a big deal. 
because like you know we don't want to lose them all at once let's see rare candy max potion and lysander i can knock this out <clears throat> which i think i'm gonna do because what else am i gonna do this turn to be honest i'm afraid of ends but he has ace trainer so it doesn't really matter i'll grab the seeker for now but more importantly let's take out a big prize well fangs of the sun here for knockout Boom. I'm glad I'm not playing Delmize, because Delmize would have slowed us down. Uh, okay, Steel. Steel energies are nice. I can start setting this one up. I can also get the other Sogaleo now with Ultra Ball. But maybe I, I should probably attach it to this one. I think that's my better play, because then I can actually attack with this. I'll have the other Sogaleo ready, but I should be attacking with this. He can start damaging me now, which is terrifying. <laughs> to say the least, he's going to end us down to three. But... If I want to blow it up, I can blow it up with this. If I get my energy back, I need to get my energy off of this. I also have three Sycamores I can get too, so I have a lot of stuff I can get here. There's a Sycamore that I was just talking about. And we can also get the other Sokaleo from our top deck. So we have we have some plays here. Unless, of course, we top deck the Metal Energy, then we have to wait a turn. But I definitely think I want to blow up this Raikou because it's the only thing that's being annoying right now. And if I blow up this Raikou, he doesn't have another attacker ready. Then get another Voltorb. I mean, he can't afford to give me prizes. Because he'll be down to one prize. Because <laughs> I'm going to knock this out. If he blows up, he'll be down to one prize. I'll be down to one prize left. Little Ice is going to do a pretty decent chunk. But once again, he didn't knock us out. So we'll be in a good position. Yeah, okay, yeah. We'll Ultra Ball here. We'll grab the other Solgaleo. Um, the baby one. Because it's a really strong attacker right now. And once we get rid of our energies, we can potentially super rod them. If I can top deck an energy, I need to top deck an energy right now. I do have Sycamore down here, right? Yeah, I do. I really need to top deck an energy. Or not top deck, but draw an energy off of this Sycamore. We didn't draw an energy off the Sycamore. Do we have Shaman in there? No, we don't have an energy. Oh, that sucks. Mm, that's really bad. That's super duper bad. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I'm going to attack with Lele. I think it's a 2 at KO. Anyways. Yeah. It's still a 2 at KO, so we'll be okay. He can knock out Lele this turn if he really wants to. Because uh, he can just do Electrode shenanigans. But regardless, like we're going to win if he does Electrode. He's just speeding up the game on our side. Do, 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 do. He's in a ninja boy, probably into Tauros, which is terrifying. But we'll take it. Yeah, there it is. I mean, I'll take the knockout. We get a prize here. We get two prizes off this. I'll definitely take it. Because if I knock this thing out, he can't electrode at all, or we just win. And if he can't electrode at all, he can't consistently put out energies. And if he can't put out energies, then that's pretty much game. And just to verify, guys, if this was Coco, we would have won as well because we kept knocking out the Cocos and we kept getting like field blowers to go to their stadiums as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and no stadium, no, no energy yet, but I think I can hold off a turn. You know what I should do, actually? I'm going to check if I have Super Rod in the deck before I make a play. Uh, I don't really need to get another Soul Glaeo out, so what I'm going to do is this. I don't want these. Oh, actually, I could have got a rare candy too. Do I have re recursion? I don't have any recursion in the deck. No recursion. Wow. Okay, then. I know I had two forms of recursion, but I used up one early game. All right, well then. Sycamore might not be my best play then. So I'm just going to knock this out and hope to get an energy in the future. Um, <clears throat> probably should have got, got rid of my rare candy over N, but you know, rip me. Things of the Sun still a knockout here, so I'll just knock him out. Get two prizes. One of these prizes should be an energy, I think, unless I already grabbed it. I don't remember. You can end me to one, but we have so many options. There's our Super Rod. Okay, so we have our Recursion back. We have a lot of really good options to top deck, and he has to get six prizes. And he can't do Electrode anymore. We can win, unless he decides to blow up right now for the sake of blowing up. Yep. He's just going to forfeit the game here. And there's our last Seeker. That's funny. All right, there we go. That's oh, I am I am happy. I am happy with this deck list. 
There we go. Solgaleo Lele. Solgaleo. Pure Solgaleo deck. There we go. <laughs> I really, really like Fan Club. Like, people are sleeping on Fan Club right now, but Fan Club's super duper good right now. I think Fan Club's great and worth playing in a lot of decks, if you, especially if you need a like, setup. If you need a really good setup deck and you have to have a really good turn one where you have a bunch of Pokemon down, play your Fan Clubs, man. Um, <clears throat> Max Potion's good. Uh, Rescue Str I mean, everything's good. I think. I think I might change Lunala to put Trainer Mails in there. I just have to figure out what I would drop if I choose to do that. But anyways, thank you guys all so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, share all the good jazz. Definitely a shorter video. Luckily, it's over 30 minutes. I try, I try to keep my videos around the 30 minutes mark for the most part. Usually, it's under 40 minutes because like I can't control how long games are. But anyways, answer the comment question today that I answered that I asked earlier. Uh, drop a like, subscribe, share. Remember, 40 likes does get you uh, a chance to win a bunch of codes on P for PTCGO and. Um, it keeps me motivated to keep doing these daily Guardians Rising videos. Let me know in the comments down below what decks you want to see me play, and I will see you guys next time. Peace.